previous video we were adding musical form to our internal singing and uh, today we're going to the next step, adding time to internal singing. Ah, it's my favorite one. So the task here is playing both hands with correct wrist and elbow movements while imagining every note in timbre harmony dynamics and voicing with movement and glissando in between, in between notes and internally sing with musical speech, phrasing, musical image, form and time while playing. Time is a necessary tool to organize everything we are imagining and singing while playing. Time helps to master rubato while playing and to choose the right tempo in a piece before playing it. Again, you can watch my playlist titled The Piano World Program to know and study this principle thoroughly. So, firstly, what is time about? Time and tempo mean more than just the speed of music. It's a part of the character of music. After choosing the pulsation, connect time to the musical image of the piece. And if the image of music is joyful, feel and describe the pulse not as just slow, but calm and peaceful. Not just faster, but lively and exciting. Not just fast, but energetic and bright. Feel time while playing, always following a phrasing line to sustain the flow of playing. So yes, that's the main thing to remember. While adding inner pulsation while playing, keep in mind to always follow phrasing line. Otherwise, um, your playing will become, will become static. <laughs> so it's in a way mastery to connect a vertical line, time, with horizontal line phrasing, just like it was shown in the video. And let's talk about uh, gradations of rubato. <laughs> How to not make too much and still don't play too flat. Uh, this is exactly how it works. First, throughout the whole piece you would always feel pulsation. In this case we're gonna pulsate by every, uh, what is it, dotted quarter. Second, when you need a bit more time to emphasize special harmony that maybe speak to you, expressive musical speech turn, or parts of phrasing, you would take more time stretching it out. Another thing is that uh, while you would want to take a bit more time for your melody, you would uh, you still want to keep steady pulsation in the accompaniment. Um, and so sometimes your right hand would be a bit later than your left hand. Just like a singer would take more time while a pianist would give this um, steady frame of timing. And thirdly, because you keep pulsating, you would always come back to the original tempo after its deviation and uh, that would conclude your robot. <laughs> so, you know, common mistake when sometimes people take robot and then take slower tempo or faster and they never come back. <laughs> um, okay. Mm. So, here we're gonna use musical image <clears throat> and musical form as default again, adding, uh, adding to them sense of time. And before playing, always feel uh, what speed of pulsation would reflect musical image and form of music. Uh, that will help to choose the right tempo. So for example, I don't know, um, when you play this next to, yes, he wrote Andantino, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, basically, oh my god, let me check. <laughs> okay, he wrote Andante. So Andante is a time of uh, calm walk, right? So you would think, okay, calm walk, but you know, the calm walk could be different, walk pace could be different, 
uh, and it would depend on your mood. <laughs> so, for example, if you're just relaxed and peaceful, your car walk would be in a way lighter, so maybe the time would be a little bit faster than if, for example, you are in this uh, hopeless E minor, like this Nocturne, and you feel this heaviness, so when you walk, your walk pace wouldn't be that light. <laughs> so that's why actually that maybe explains why I play this Nocturne um, maybe a bit slower than people usually play, because I feel that if I am in the character of music, my walk pace would be slower than usual because I feel well, I, I feel more heavy and sad and everything. So that's why I chose the tempo that I chose. Um, while playing, keep inner pulsation. And because it's connected to image and form of music, by feeling, thinking about time, you will not be separated from character of music itself. So everything will be in harmony, connected, and in a natural flow. Because sometimes when um, students are asked to play something um, in a more organized way, uh, the musical character disappears because, well, they just focus more on the time. And you focus more on the time and then you reject or you miss, miss, miss view other things but when the time is connected all together in one feeling to a uh, musical image and form then uh, by thinking about musical image you will feel time that's how it works so like i said before here we're gonna pulsate by every dotted quarter is it true let me check again <laughs> yeah it's true so by, by three uh, quavers. And you can play with both hands right away, but always feel before and while playing this trinity of musical image form and time. Yeah, okay, that's what I already said. So this is uh, an exact order of what to think uh, before and while playing. Now, Basically, that's exactly what you did before with image and form. You tune into image, form and time. You feel it as one whole thing. Basically, you just give pulsation to your image, really. Then you gather weight while bringing hands, think about the first notes, then you start playing, expressing image form, time, phrasing through intonation in between notes. You really can listen to it again, really noticing how I took rubato, uh, how my left hand always tries to keep the same pulse, where I would show some very important expressive turns um, in, with musical speech or showing some more intense harmony and where would I take more time but then I would come back right away. I usually do. <laughs> mm. So that would be it. Now let's go to the last stage. <laughs> 